All right, guys, I caved. Yep, you heard it right. I just purchased ChatGPT Pro. So now I'm on the $200 a month plan and I have access to deep research and O1 one pro mode. And quite frankly, I've been using it so far today and it is pretty impressive. And a lot of different people have been talking about O1 one pro and in particularly deep research, which is really crazy. It's an agent that uses reasoning to synthesize large amounts of online information and complete multi-step research tasks for you. And currently it's only available for the pro plan. Now, many people are very impressed about deep research and talking about many different use cases and how they can actually use this. And deep research will go out and actually research for sometimes four minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, and even sometimes 20 minutes on a specific topic and come back with almost PhD level reasoning around that specific subject matter with citations and all that good stuff it is really crazy but the fact of the matter is a lot of people don't like paying 200 a month or maybe just can't afford at the moment to pay 200 a month and would prefer something that is open source so i actually came across this project on twitter by this gentleman named david as you can see here, introducing deep research, my own open source implementation of OpenAI's new deep research agent. Get the same capability without paying $200 per month. You can even tweak the behavior of the agent with adjustable breadth and depth. Run it for five minutes or five hours. It'll auto adjust. So this is really crazy and it almost seems like it may give you a bit more control um with in that regard compared to opening eyes deep research their deep research will just go and you can't really control those so i'm actually very interested to customize some of this and see how it uh, actually works comparative to opening eyes now i'll leave a link below down to this twitter post he has a video right here which is about four minutes long now i definitely suggest checking it out if you're going to be using this tool he just basically goes through what we're going to go through on how to use it but it's also good hearing it from the founder of this tool talking about how you can actually put the options of breadth here like three or depth right here so think of breadth about gaining a wide range of knowledge, skills, or perspectives across many different areas. And think of depth of achieving a profound level of expertise or understanding in a narrower area. So you'll see here a diagram flow right here. Internally, the agent will take the user input, break it down into different sub research threads, and it'll run in parallel and recursively iterate based on new learnings, spawns new research threads, and collect new knowledge until it reaches the necessary breadth and depth. And you can see here input, depth parameter, breadth parameter, user query, deep research, SERP queries right here, process results, results either directions or new learnings, and then depth greater than zero, yes, next direction, prior goals, new learnings, new questions, F no, markdown report. And this tool is built with the AI SDK from Vercel and Firecrawl. And we've covered Firecrawl as well as Crawl for AI on this channel many different times, and they are really good when it comes to scraping for AI. Now let's take a look at this GitHub repo right here. So this is a newer project and it already has 5.5K stars. So it's been blowing up on GitHub. As you can see here, Open Deep Research, an AI powered research assistant that performs iterative deep research on any topic combining search engines, web scraping, and LLMs. So a few features, iterative research, intelligent query generation, depth and breadth control, smart follow-ups, comprehensive reports, and concurrent processing. And then the requirements to run this, you'll need Node.js environment, API keys for Firecrawl API, as well as OpenAI API. If you don't already have a Firecrawl account, you can just simply sign up here and then get an API key. And then first things first is we're going to git clone this repo right here. So simply just copy the URL and run git clone into the directory of your choice. Once you do that, you're going to change directory into deep research. And then I just like to open it in cursor. So I run cursor dot, you could run code dot or just open it in your IDE of choice. And once you do that, you're going to see a dot env dot example. You're going to want to make a copy of that and rename it to dot env dot local. Make sure you have it as dot local and not just dot env or else it won't work. 
Then you're going to add your Firecrawl API key here, as well as your OpenAI API key here. Now, if you want to use a local model, you can actually do that. You would simply just uncomment the OpenAI endpoint right here. And you can see this is the Olama one right here. And then you can uncomment the OpenAI model right here. And then you could use like Llama 3.1 or whatever model you actually want. And also too, if you're self-hosting Firecrawl, you could also uncomment this and use the Firecrawl base URL right here as localhost 3002. Now you could also use this with Docker. The commands are right here. It's very simple. I'm not going to go over it right now. We're just going to use the node version. And then once you have that all set up, we're simply just going to run npm start. Okay, so as you can see, I ran npm start right here. And then boom, it says, what would you like to research? All right, so for our search, we're going to ask it, please research recent AI news around Google's new Gemini models and how they are disrupting the industry and how they compare to OpenAI's new deep research model. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. We're going to click send here and then it's going to ask us to enter research breadth right here so recommended is between two and ten default is four i'm just going to do two for now and then research depth so recommended is between one to five default is two i'll just keep it at two for now just for the sake of this video and we're going to go ahead and click enter now it is creating a research plan so to better understand your research needs please answer the following questions can you specify the time period you consider as your question all right, so I just gave it the date right here and said within the last couple weeks and now researching your topic. Okay, so now we can see it is going. So created two queries. Query, recent February 2025 AI news, Google Gemini's models, disrupting the AI industry, as well as OpenAI's deep research, research goal, boom. Another query right here. Um, so we're seeing that it's actually getting different information right now and it's created three new learnings. So these learnings will then be used in our next research. So we can see it's still going here, researching deeper, breadth one, depth one, created three learnings and it's still going. So while this is running in the background, I'm actually going to go ahead, copy this same command, and then I'm going to go over here to chat GPT and paste in that exact prompt right here. And we're going to turn on deep research. So we're also using chat GPT 03 mini high right now, and we're going to click on send. So it is asking me, could you clarify a specific time frame? So very similar to uh, the question that the open deep research asked me. It actually asked me a couple other follow-up questions right here, like what type of comparison do you prefer surrounded around technical capabilities, industry impact, or both. So I'm saying both here. And then lastly, do you prefer insights from particular sources or general overview from reputable sources? I'm just going to say both sources as well. Click on send. All right. So now we can see it's going to start gathering this information and boom, research has now started. So while this has started, let's go ahead and check on our open research right now. Okay. And as you can see, our open deep research is actually done right here so if you take a look it ran some different queries if you remember i only put a breadth of two and a depth of two so you could of course make it bigger and it would obviously take a lot longer but we can see our learnings right here so boom 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 we're not i'm not going to read through it all right now and you can see the visited urls so it visited 16 different urls right here and then we have our final report so we have a table of contents right here, an executive summary right here, uh, overview of model architectures and innovations, Google Gemini 2.0 summary. So the cool thing is the report has been saved to output.md. So if I go over to that file, just over here, we can actually see the markdown file right here. So our OpenAI deep research is still going. As of now, I'd say they are probably around a similar 
uh, time frame. I think open deep research may have been a little quicker just because of the breadth and depth. But let's go ahead, uh, take a look at some of this report. So final report right here. We got our table of contents. It's nicely formatted. Executive summary, overview of model architectures and innovations, uh, Google Gemini 2.0 suite overview, OpenAI's deep research overview, technical comparison, so architecture and capabilities such as context window, multimodal capabilities, core architectures, mixture of experts versus iterative reinforcement learning approaches, performance and benchmarks and reliability metrics, pricing strategies and market implications integration and ecosystem advantages, user targeting and application scenarios, future trends and potential disruptions in the AI landscape, and then conclusion. And as you can see, there's a lot of sub points here. It's actually very in depth. We can see all the sources that have been cited. So this is really awesome. And keep in mind, guys, this is 100% open source. You don't have to pay $200 a month to get a really well researched output like this for any single query. All right, so now it looks like our opening eyes deep research has been completed here. And as you can see, it did a lot of research around this. So we can see, I mean, it actually only did four minutes. So four minutes. So over here in open deep research, we got 16 sources cited right here. Over here in opening eyes deep research, we actually have 16 sources as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, cool thing here, we can see the activity. I'm not going to go through it all, but you can see it's searching on things like Reuters. OpenAI's blog, you know, all the different ones, uh, Google's blog right here. And you can see the reasoning as it's getting its learning. So it's actually a pretty similar process. And in that Twitter video I was referencing at the start, um, the founder, David, is actually going through and explaining that, which, like I said, I would recommend you watching that four minute video because it's really, he does a really great job on explaining how he architected the process of Open Deep Research going through and doing its research. Now, with OpenAI's deep research, we can see Google new Gemini model 2.0. You know, you can see the technical capabilities, multimodal generation, model variance, performance, agentic reasoning, use cases, uh, industry reactions, and then OpenAI's new deep research model. So then it's going through all the different stuff here, citations and transparency, performance limitations, professional research, complex decisions, long form analysis. As you can see, we got all the different sources right here. So it does a really thorough job going over different industry reactions and then head to head comparison right here. So I think you guys get the point. It's very in depth going over different use cases, market impact. Um, this one is super, super in depth and we see a conclusion here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually save both of these outputs right here and I'm going to leave them in the description below. I'll either put them in a GitHub repo link or some sort of uh, text document where you, if you really want to go through and compare OpenAI's deep research versus open deep research and really get a sense because um, obviously I can't read through this whole entire thing in this video um, and you want to get a comparison as as to hey should I spend the $200 or should I just use the open deep research quite frankly if you don't have the resources or you don't need to spend the $200 then you may just want to opt for open deep research and honestly even after buying open AI's deep research I think this is such a great tool and I'm definitely going to be using it I'm probably going to be using both of these tools to really get a sense of to you know which one I prefer for different things i really like how open deep research just allows you more customization with the breadth and depth so you could potentially get really long deep research with that model which is really cool for specific topics so other than that guys i hope you got some value from this video let me know what your thoughts are about deep research as well as open deep research in the comments down below let me know if you've tried either one of these tools yet and which one you prefer like I mentioned, guys, definitely check out David's video on Twitter here. Check out the GitHub repo. Make sure to drop it a star if you got some value from what David put together here. I'm a huge fan of open source, so I think it's really cool when other people make different open source alternatives to add to the AI community and make sure that everyone can use these cool, awesome, powerful tools. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI marketing, sales, AI agents, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the 
uploads. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below. And then also, too, guys, you're definitely going to want to join our Stride AI Academy, where I'm posting behind the scenes resources, templates, different files, coding files, JSON, downloadable things that you can get for free at the moment. So join the Stride AI Academy. I'll leave a link down below for that. And then also, too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents into your business, like AI appointment setters, AI cold callers, or N8N agents, then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply. Or if you're a developer or an agency owner or an AI expert and you want help actually selling these AI agents to other business owners for two to 10 K plus, then book a call down below at that link as well. And you can speak to my team and see if it's a potential fit or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.